Hello my friends, my name's LaserJet, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another train simulator race. As you're aware that you guys give me suggestions of what kind of videos I should make uh, on train simulator, like what kind of race uh, ideas you have, uh, this one's no different, but today we have my favourite steam engine in the world, the Flying Scotsman, versus his favourite steam engine in the world, the Class A4 Bitten. But Bitten has a little bit of a surprise for us today because... She has two tenders! Now, some of you might think that um, having two tenders uh, is a bit unfair. I argue... No, yeah, you're probably right. Having two tenders is a bit unfair, actually. This this probably will slow Bitten down a lot. But, you know, when a class A4 has two tenders, it does look really nice, doesn't it? And I actually do have a Hornby model of Bitten with two tenders, mind you. But yes, uh, Bitten versus Flying Scotsman. This is a race that... Um, that maybe I should have done it quite a while ago, but we're doing it now anyway. That's all that matters. I do the racing now. Let's just get into it. Now, I just want to quickly say before the video gets started that I want to thank you all, everyone, for um, for liking my videos and subscribing and sharing my videos and watching my videos. It just it really means a lot that I can actually bring some entertainment and joy to you at home. So if you're here uh, and if you want to stay, make sure you click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Uh, it's just a little click of a button. It's that simple. So I think we should program both these mighty uh, Steam Titans. Uh... I'm thinking about, I'm going to say, 135% power. Mm. So, we're going to go to the world editor, uh, and then click the little train icon, but you can't see it because my webcam's in the way. And I also want to apologise for the way I talk at the moment, because I've got a really bad spot on my tongue. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I've got a really bad spot on the side of my tongue, and every time I talk, it's really painful. So, it, I'm just in, like, constant pain all the time every time I talk and the fact that I have to talk because I'm making a YouTube video that makes it it makes my life even more harder so this is quite annoying so we're gonna have Bitten on platform 2 and Flying Scotsman on platform 3 uh, and all we need to do is program them so Bitten is engine number 2 and you're gonna go on platform uh, th uh, uh, no 2 uh, and we'll give you 135% power a lot of power and for flying scotsman is ending number three and you're going to be on platform three as well and we'll give you 135 percent power as well oh that just hurt i'm not looking for sympathy or anything oh well, that's it that's probably like the easiest programming ever done because i only have to program two engines uh and as always i'm going to be driving the super class 47 um this will be this will be quite easy to catch up with these two engines because they're steam engines we need to do like more diesel versus steam and electric soon we need to do like um steam diesel and electric power soon all right my friends i think i am ready for the racing i hope you guys are ready too uh who do you think is going to win out of bitten or flying scotsman bear in mind bitten is carrying a second tender so it might slow her down a little bit but although Bitten will be faster because she is a class A4, and you know it's it's it, she's more streamlined, so you know. But you know, Flying Scotsman is true of Steam, though. I mean, she's like she's like the crown, like the crown jewel of Steam. You know, us British people, like we don't have much to be proud of, but when it comes to our steam engines, I think I think as a British person myself, I think this is something to be very proud of. We do have good sense of style when it comes to our steam engines. Not so many things, but steam engines, yeah. All right, uh, so yeah, who do you think is going to win? Bitten or Flying Scotsman? Leave your answer in the comment section down below as well. I'll be sure to read it. Right, uh, let's get the race started. So let's click uh, the play button. Would you like to, uh, yes, we'll save all changes. And uh, the race will begin. Go, 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 go. Who's going to pull away faster? Is it going to be Flying Scotsman or Bitten? At the moment, it's, it's a tie at the moment, I think. Right, let's head over to the Superclass uh, 47. Lights on, brakes on, reverser on forward, and away we go. God, and I've just noticed that Bitten's uh, second tender is completely hollow. That's pretty cool. And Bitten has got the lead. Look at this, Bitten's pulling away, even with the second tender. Bitten has got the lead at the moment, my friends. This is, um, this is uh, something, isn't it? Bitten, not only Bitten's fast, 
but she's pretty strong too because she's got to carry all that water in that tender. It's, it's quite a lot of water. But Flying Scotsman could catch up, but you know, I, I do have um, some doubts. Uh, so come on, Bitten, uh, put your back into it, old, old girl. <laughs> old girl. Uh, I've got to plug the base just a little bit. Bear in mind, I've given both these engines 135% um, power, so like they should go like much, much faster than normal. In fact, I'm actually worried that Scotsman might actually blow up. And the fact that, you know, she's not falling too behind uh, Flying Scotsman. She's only, like, what, a few feet behind? So Scotsman could could still catch up, but we just don't know. A bitten is going a little bit more faster than I am, but what about Scotsman? Is she still catching up? Yeah, Scotsman's still catching up. She's not out of the race just yet. She's Scotsman, Scotsman's not giving up just yet. Bitten, you're not getting away that easy. God, I tell you what, a, a class A4. I said this before. I say it again. An A4 with two tenders, especially at speed, and especially as one as good as Bitten. That is beautiful. And how's Scotsman doing? Yeah, I think Scotsman is starting to slow just a little bit. We're doing, uh, Bitten's doing over, uh, uh 116 miles per hour. Bitten's been, uh, beat, uh, uh, Bitten has actually beaten her real life, uh, record, which is, I think, is 19 miles per hour. But where's Flying Scott? Oh, now this Flying Scott is, is starting to fall behind, quite behind, behind. Flying Scotsman is now starting to fall behind uh, quite a bit now. But where is Bitten? There she is. Going around the corner at an alarming 142 miles per hour. I mean, look at the speed of this thing. And even the fact that she's got two tenders. That tender's not slowing her down. And for those of you who are thinking, Oh, Oliver, why are you adding a second tender to Bitten? That's going to slow her down. Um, yeah, uh, I want to say, In your face, boy! I mean, Bitten can have, I don't know, like 9 to 25 tenders and she still probably would beat Flying Scotsman. Where is Flying Scotsman? There she is. She's all the way in the distance. Look at that. She's a tiny little green dot. It's a bit sad. How fast is Bit and Go? We're doing 129 miles per hour. We've beaten Mallard's record. I said Mallard, didn't I? I meant to say Mallard. I just say Mallard, Oliver. I think it's because of this spot I've got on my tongue. I think it's interfering with my speech. That's why I can't talk properly. And just the other day, I was having a bath, and because I'm such a clumsy fool, um, I slipped and I banged my head uh, on the side of the bathtub. I don't know if you can actually see, but it's like it's right, it's right there. It's like a red mark right here um, on the top of my head. I don't know if you guys can, kind of can see that, but yeah, um, it's really painful. I've been hurting myself quite a lot lately, not on purpose, but like because I'm dumb. And clumsy, like I always like hurt myself. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not responsible to be living alone. I need, I need to get like a nurse or, or something because I, I'm too dangerous to be left alone. Do you know what? I've actually been living in my flat for about a year now, and I'm surprised I haven't set the place on fire yet. Right, uh, how's Bitten doing? Bitten's doing fine. Where's Flying Scotsman? Um, oh God, there she is. Like, really far behind. Um, I think Bitten is starting to slow down just a little bit because we are coming... Uh, 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 uh. We are coming close to the finish line and Bitten is now doing under 100 uh, miles per hour. So doing it under about... Under 90, I think he's doing about 80-ish. I mean, we slow down to 75 miles per hour. No sign of the Flying Scotsman, though. I, I don't... I don't... I do not see her. I do not see Flying Scotsman. She's out of visual. The visual, vis, visual. Okay, I gotta apply the brakes ever so slightly. Uh, Bitten uh, has won this. I mean, to be honest, I can't, it was kind of obvious if it was gonna win. If uh, if if you don't mind me saying so, because you know, it's it, Bitten's a class A4. It, it's it's it, they they're built for speed. Flying Scotsman, I think, was built for looks and quality, but I think the A4s were well, like Bitten, for example. They they were just built for 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 speed and quickness and in fact they do have a good sense of um, quality too I say. All right now we're at the end of the line we can just leave the uh, superclass 47 there and let's have a good look at Bitten when she stops at the finish line. We we'll get like a really cool shot of um, of Bitten. Let's just see like a like a cool like welcome shot. Da -da 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 -da. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's wonderful, isn't it, to see Bitten with two tenders. And I think Bitten is... I think she still has two tenders right now in real life, I think. Yeah, she does. Where's Flying Scots? Oh, there she is. She's, uh, she's quite far behind. But, like, you know, it wasn't totally embarrassing. But it wasn't 
that exciting either, if I, have to be, if I have to be honest. But you guys like honesty. I mean, I you guys know me. I'm a very honest person. Uh, of course, I've got to be honest. Um, can you guys ever imagine, like, a dishonest YouTuber? I can, I can name quite a few. It's a fact that every YouTuber has to be honest with their audience. And that's, that's what I do. And here comes Flying Scotsman in second place. Well, in last place, but... Um, but it's still nice. There you go, Scotsman. Just parking right next to Pitten. Beautiful. Looks fantastic though, doesn't it? But yes, as I was saying, no one can trust a dishonest YouTuber. Because how can you? They're not honest to you. So how can you trust them? Like clickbait. I don't I don't like clickbait. Click 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 clickbait's horrible. It just it just annoys me a lot. Why am I suddenly talking about all this kind of stuff? God, who is this and what's happened to LaserJet? But there we go, my friends. Bitten versus Flying Scotsman. Uh, this was another race request uh, from the fan who wanted to get his name uh, mentioned in the video. But I'm, as I said, I'm not going to say it. But you know who you are, don't you? Because you're the one who requested this race. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that little subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Subscribe to my second YouTube channel as well. Link to it is in the description below. But a big thank you to all my fans for suggesting these videos. You know who you are. And thank you so much to you watching at home. I'll see you very soon. Take care. And goodbye for now. these things sort of